so uh, i'll be discussing about the seller and the brand onboarding process and uh, this is the presentation uh, by arnab das from the help of the your shops financials so coming to the uh, presentation framework and the key talking points of this presentation will be what is the seller and the brand onboarding process why is it important and uh, the step by step analysis and the approach of the process so uh, coming to the first point that is what is seller and the brand onboarding process the seller onboarding is the process of registering new vendors and sellers who want to serve the same set of customers like for e-commerce companies like amazon walmart alibaba the retailers and the manufacturers are the vendors they are the sellers and they are trying to reach out to the broader customer base same as right aggregators like uber ola lyft or grab they also want to onboard more driving partners to enhance their business number four number third point fourth point is the business operating in fintech spaces like amazon google pay or paytm would want to merchant of all shapes and sizes to use their services instead of their competitors same as the food delivery companies like swiggy uber eats grab hub for the best restaurants and the delivery partner to associate with them so coming to the next point that why is it important a good vendor onboarding process helps a company develop a fortified relationship with the vendor when you deliver the process professionally the vendors that is the sellers feel that they add value and they are the integral part of a company smooth hassle free onboarding process should attract a good vendors to associate with you whereas a shaky unstandardized process might put them off and have them lost the interest in you and right and at the let go like the now coming to the seller onboarding process a step by step analysis and the approach so coming to the first point that is the understanding of the vendor that is the onboarding process starts with the addition of sellers to your database and made concrete by document collections it helps to ensure that not only your partner professional entities but also understand their motivation it reinforces the understanding that your vendors should follow the norms and the policies laid out by regulating authorities second is to verify the documents the next step in the process is the document verification the verification team will weigh the seller information and the documents against the company standards they will decide whether the vendor can work for the company or not so coming to the third point that is the uh, convey your requirements and expectations the onboarding team will explain the entire operational procedure to the sellers they will convey the information and the company's expectations to them to ensure that the vendors work with the company policies and give substantial results addition to marketplace and software introduction when the verification team approves or reject the sellers the same information is conveyed to the onboarding team if the seller is approved the onboarding team will add the vendors to the marketplace deploy the needed software and the explains the working to them when there is a rejection the onboarding team may ask for some additional documents required and solve the issue so these are the four fundamental courses uh, fundamental steps of seller onboarding process and this steps varies company to companies but most of the companies follows these four steps i hope the process has been wonderfully uh, described and uh, thanks for watching